Good morning guys, welcome to Saturday. I woke up thinking it was Sunday and I was so sad because I love sleeping in. I woke up at 6.55 a.m. and it felt glorious. Sam is already out doing chores. I'm starting to waver about the horses. It's cold. I only have a hoodie on and a sweater. But it's cold, I feel bad for them. Nobody's shivering, nobody looks cold. They all have lots of weight on them to keep them warm. They have lots of food, they're eating all the time. And I know that that's good. I know like a lot of my friends that put blankets on their horses don't have shelters or they don't have round bales so that their horses can like move and move around and eat and when they feel cold. Oh, I don't know. I'm doing all the things I know that are right for them to not need a blanket, but I'm still nervous. So uh, sadly, today is the Royal Winter Fair. We were meant to go there, but Sam got a man cold. So we ended up not going. Not only did he get a man cold and go to bed at 7 p.m. last night, which is uncharacteristic of him, he also has a swollen foot. Told the doctor, and the doctor knows about it. What happened? Oh, uh-oh, that's scary. Uh-oh, you're not going out there. No, 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 okay. How'd you get free, posy pig? She's like, I really need a drink now. Aw, she got locked out of her stall somehow. She's drinking the boy's water. At least she ate all the grain off the floor. <laughs> she ate all the grain off the floor. Oh, Posey. Anytime I see a mess in the barn, my first suspect is always an animal got free because that's usually what it is. Poor girl. Isn't that, aren't those water buckets perfect for them though? They're so, so perfect. I'm so glad we got them. I'm sorry, baby. She ate all what grain? Well, now she's drinking all the water. Did you have a fun night? <laughs> she's still drinking water. You okay? <laughs> she's like, Laura, I had the best night of my life. I just, <laughs> she's blowing bubbles. She's blowing bubbles in the water. Well, that's why you stay in your own bed. That's where all your water is. Come on, you gotta go back the other door. Come on. She's still drinking water. I don't know how she got loose. Come on. Somehow we didn't lock her door and she must have pushed it open. Usually she's really good. Come on, Pose. She made a bed at least. Come on. Yeah. She made her own bed in the hay. Come on. Come on. Posey, you gotta come this way. Come on. Sam, lock me in. I know, yeah, she's in. So last night, we were doing chores, and Sophie was kind of rushing me, and she said, did we get everything? And I said, I think so. Is there something I'm forgetting? I couldn't, I couldn't tell. Look at, she's still drinking. Isn't that crazy? She ate everything. Like, what did she eat? I don't know, did, was there green <gasps> in the bucket? Oh no! Was there grain in that bucket? Was there grain in that thing? Yep, there was a lot of grain in that she bucket. At least she cleaned the barn. Yeah, at least she cleaned the barn. This is now she's moved on to a second bucket. She doesn't need breakfast. No, she's not having any breakfast. Posy. Oh no. After she ran through the barn and ate everything she could, she made her own little bed in our straw bear bales that we have here. So we're gonna have to watch her now today. All that food and no water is not good. See her door? This is the problem about her door. Oh, how did it get closed? It closes on its own normally. Now I have to stay out here and watch and make sure that Posey doesn't steal any goat grain, but if you can see, she's over there waiting for her grain. If you can also see, she's got a big grain belly on her. I bet you she's feeling not good. I might have to give her something. I have some stuff that I can give her that will help her because she might get constipated now. And constipation in pigs is not a good thing. Go eat your grain. Go eat your grain. 
See how they drop little bits of it? I've started feeding them out as a group here outside in the morning because it takes so long for them to eat. They just want to go outside. It's just easier. Look, she's not even coming over to try and... Oh, man. What a disaster. My poor Posey. I'm going to give you some medicine, Posey pig. You know what's crazy, though? If you're a person and you eat something that you're not supposed to eat, you just have a belly ache for a day or so. If you're a pig, if you're an animal and you eat something you're not supposed to eat, death. Yeah, that's how crazy animals are. I wonder if God's trying to tell us something because literally Storm broke out of his stall so many times. Posey now broke out of her stall. What does it mean? One more animal breaks out of its stall. I'm going to take that as a sign. You got a bellyache, Posey pig? Yeah, that's what happens. I'll make sure you have lots of fresh water. She's already up looking for more food but she's not having any, she's also looking for more water. I just dumped her water bucket. I'm, gonna, I'm waiting for the water to fill up so I can give her another fresh bucket of water. So all she ate is about this much. So every night, Sophie fills the bucket with grain to feed the goats at night. And so she ate that, but it's goat food, not pig food. So that's what she ate, she ate the rest of that. It's not like she ate a whole bag of grain or anything like that, but I mean, still, it's not good for her. It could be worse is what I'm trying to say. I'm always trying to find the silver lining, always. Anyway, we're gonna keep an eye on her. I'm gonna give her some medicine that will help. We move these guys to the boy pen. Hi, baby. Yep, we move them to the boy pen for the winter. Oh, man. Remind me, I wanna bring a little tiny bucket down here. Water bucket. Fill her black bucket up because that's the one that she likes. There you go. I know. She is going to be drinking all day. Yeah, it's good though. It's good that she's doing that. You stay away from her and be nice. She's got a bellyache. If she was my kid, I would cuddle her up on the couch with some pillows and blankets and her favorite TV show and say, you just lay right here. Although... Honestly, she needs exercise and she needs to be moving around to get all that food to pass through. Yeah, she's go to the bathroom. Oh, gosh, stop. She what? She left you a big poop in the feed room. Too. Oh, well, that's good. At least I know she's still going to the bathroom. <laughs> anyway, I'll welcome it to today's video. If you're wondering, like, Laura, where's your dog? I haven't seen her in days. There she is. Right there. Out you go. Yesterday I, yesterday I put Winston with his mom. And he stood at the gate screaming the whole entire day. No, I didn't open that. I'm telling you, yesterday I tried to put the goats. I put Lola out here because she was along the fence line. I just want to cover my bases, make sure she's for sure bred. She wasn't... He wasn't super interested in her for a few minutes he was, but then he wasn't. So I don't think she was in heat. Some tried to tell me she was. There was a lot of running. She was in there. So my guess is they pushed the gate open. Anyway, I had to come down at noon and put Winston back with his boy. It's boy. He loves his boy better than his mom now. Anyway, welcome to Saturday. It's not what I thought it was going to be. I thought we were gonna meet our friends that we haven't seen for a while because our schedules have been so crazy. They haven't been able to meet up. So we are gonna to get to spend the whole day with them, meet some of you guys that have messaged me. And now here I am with a sick man. Yep, it's gonna be a fun one. <laughs> one good thing about having a farm though is that you literally have chores to do, animals to do, things to do that get you outside and keep you busy your whole life, like your whole entire life. And that is so good. It keeps you young. It keeps you so much younger. I'm telling you, like I was trying to think the other day about what is going to be, what our life is going to be like in the next five years. In five years, Sophie's going to be 20. So not just like just starting to move out, like already gone. So in five years, all Sam and I are going to have are the animals. But... At the same time, we're going to have 
opportunities to spend more time with our grandkids. We're going to have opportunities to do just have, we're just going to have more time to like do our animals and clean my house and spend time with friends. Like I could get friends. I have so many lady friends who always say to me like, Laura, why don't you ever spend time with me? And it's because I'm addicted to my family. I'm addicted to my house. I've raised an entire family. I think I've said this story before, but I've raised an entire family before and realized it happens that fast. And with the boys, I wished I could go back and spend all my time with them. Once I left and went out with my family and with my friends, Sam and I, and we did stuff without them, I can't ever get that back. And so when we had the girls, it was so easy for me to decide that I just wanted to spend all my time with them because it goes so fast. It might not be right for everyone, but it was right for me. I'm just being super thankful for our farm and for the animals and that I get to spend so much time with them and that they are our future. More grandkids. <laughs> That's it. That's my future. But any of you guys who have empty nests, tell me. Comment below. What are the other amazing things that I get to look forward to? Like I get to spend more time with Sam. We get to rediscover each other because... Right now, I feel like our lives are so centered around our kids, which I love. But what do we have to look forward to? I don't think that we'll travel because we have the animals. And I love the constant being busy. I'd rather that than traveling. But I, I would like to travel a little. Anyway, comment below if you're an empty nester. I've had kids for 36 years. I've been a mom for 36 years. And I've had kids live with me for 36 years. So it's going to be tough. What are your ideas of a fun time when the kids are growing up and moved out? We only have time. What? I don't know. Like, what do you want to do with your future? I don't know. You want to shop every day? No, I don't like shopping. Unless it's for a tractor. <laughs> <laughs> you want to go shopping for a tractor every day? Um, maybe go to auctions. I, I could do auctions. I'm an auction person. I like to go to auction. All right. I love that. All right. I could do that. Anyway, comment below. Tell me what you do as an empty nester. To keep yourself going when you don't have any kids. I created a monster. Now that I made this dog. No, all right. Now that I made Kirby stop chasing Ellie. Ellie is free now. So guess what Ellie's doing? Chasing Kirby. She's chasing Kirby. She's chasing all the dogs now. Winston's cheek is almost completely better. <laughs> they know where the dog, the goat's food is. I've been watching her on the camera all day and I've been worried about her. Um, so I sent a message to my vet and he said, just don't let her drink a lot of water. <laughs> he said, you have to slow down the water. Like if they drink too much water, it could. Ah, this goat keeps headbutting me. No. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, pose. Anyway, drinking too much water is bad. You're supposed to monitor the water intake for the first few hours. And she's not allowed to eat for 12 to 24 hours. Probably 24 hours. I don't think she got, like, so much. Just oh, Go! Just more than what she normally gets. So, definitely, I can tell that she ate too much because she has terrible gas right now. And her belly is looking really chunky. So, you might have thought you were having a fun night out, posy pig, but instead you just got yourself on a 24-hour diet. Yeah. Poor baby. Whoa! Look at that thing. Holy moly! It definitely was not that fat last night, yesterday when I was down here with her. With her. Poor posy pig! Oh my gosh! Do you see any difference in her weight, Sophie? Mm -hmm. Anyway, pigs are not like horses. They can throw up. But it is definitely chubby. I've never once seen a pig throw up. I saw her throw up this morning. She was drinking so much water, she threw up. <laughs> oh. <laughs> too much water is a bad thing if she ate too much. You'd, I thought, like, the water would help push it. She's dead. <laughs> her belly. So I was watching her on the camera while we were shopping and she was over in that corner. She made a nest and she had her face stuck in the wall and she was asleep. I named this goat. <laughs> I named yeah. mm -hmm. You named the bad bratty one. <laughs> I love when they yawn. I love when they sit like that though and their belly looks so fat. Ow. Even though it's not a good thing. Yeah, both hornless goats have taken to 
headbutting me. This one just headbutted me too. Two of them. Yeah, two um, of them. These are our next year. Oops, does. Do you notice a change in, <laughs> in Posey? She's like the Grim Reaper. <laughs> All dressed in black. Come to visit the farm. Bro. It is a family affair, you guys. We're gonna start doing chores every Saturday. And only for like an hour, maybe two hours max. Don't you chase my dog. Come on. Uh-oh, Ellie, let's We're go. Out here. So I think what I'm gonna do is just assign a job every Saturday, even in the winter. Sign a job and then I'm gonna sign a job and then as soon as it's done they can go. So if they work hard and Make fast, sure they can be done fast. Whoa. If they work, hey, stop! If they work slow and fool around, then I guess it'll take them all afternoon. For the first time in ages, I wake up and don't hate it. I guess I found some peace. Hi, Pen. I love that she knows her name. I remember that one time I cleaned all this by myself. Do you know who else knows her name? Honey. Gracie and Penny and Storm. And Lady and Honey and Willa. And Lady. Yeah, let's see. Honey. 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 She Penny. <laughs> she just comes to, uh, it's the E-N-N-Y. Uh-oh. It's okay, we're just gonna clean up your poopy pen. So everybody's here, all the important people except for one. Who can name who's not here? The important person, oh, here he comes. It's a boy and he's making his way. He's not a person. <laughs> Everybody has to know what's happening. Penny's like, don't you come near me, Stormy. Did you know we call him Stormy? And he means well, he's just a boy. He's a boy brain. He doesn't think the same way. It's okay, stop. She's Penny likes him when she's in heat. Yeah, that's the only time. I swear Honey likes me best now. Honey! You're forgetting she ran over to me. Well, she comes to me and too. And who else likes me. I know. Horses Hi. tell, you guys. They tell. Hey, look, she came to me. This is my favorite though. Like I love when we're working hard in the field, cleaning up stuff, and then all the horses just um, come. Can you get off my up. pitchfork? That's my pitchfork. Well, I need to use it for a second. Okay. Well, she wants to use it too, apparently. <laughs> Get off the pitchfork. Off. It's actually not that big of a mess today. Like I'm talking three. Listen, I did it the last time and it was like seven buckets. Yeah, you're gonna even spit, Mom. She didn't bite me. She's just smelling me. Look, watch. Callie's <laughs> so sassy. I love that we provide entertainment for everyone. Currently they're excited about Sophie dumping the bucket. <laughs> Stop eating the wood! Lady! Stop! 